Ed, obviously a pretty tough first up training session in Chennai yesterday. Uh, how did you find it and how was the temperature? It was an old fashioned smash up day one. Uh, fitness trainer got hold of us. Uh, thought we were AFL players there for, for a couple of laps around the ground. Um, hot, but not probably as hot as it can get here in Chennai. So looking forward to, to getting used to, to probably the humidity more than anything and, and getting stuck into training again for the rest of the week. Was it nice to blow the cobwebs out and to come as a bit of a surprise that you were getting put through your paces? Uh, no, it's the oldest trick in the book day one, let them know who's boss. So definitely not a surprise, but uh, no, it was, it was nice having had the plane trip over and, and settled in for 24 hours to, to have a run around and, and as you say, get, get the cobwebs out. How did you find the nets yesterday? Obviously a nice long session in there against the, the fast bowlers that were here and also the local quicks. How did the wickets play and how did you, how did you find it? Oh, I can't remember the last half hour of my net session. Uh, so, uh, no, the, the wickets were pretty good. The facilities are superb here, so uh, if anything, they were, they were probably too good. Um, you know, they weren't turning a hell of a lot, so you know, to, to really get accustomed to a, a day three, four, or five wicket, we'll you know we'll probably see that in the training um, facilities as the, as they break down a bit over the, the coming weeks. Is that what you're expecting? Some really turning wickets out here in Chennai and then Hyderabad and through the rest of the series. Steve Rickson mentioned yesterday that he didn't think that this wicket here in Chennai would be a really a raging turner, but it would turn definitely, but wouldn't be a raging turner. Yeah, I think um, it's not how we imagine India. 20, 30 years ago. I think the wickets turn, but it's not that steepling sort of bounce turn that, that they used to get on the, the dust bowls. Uh, it depends, like anywhere in the world, the specific grounds have their own little conditions. So Stump has got some great local knowledge of, of Chennai. Um, you know, Mahali's a, a good place to bat for more reports, as is Hyderabad. So, um, you know, we're comfortable with whatever conditions are, are going to be thrown at us, and, and we feel like we've got all bases covered. The next couple of days, another couple of training sessions, then straight into the first two-day tour game. What are you really aiming for in that game? What are you hoping to get out of it? I think just time in the middle, getting back into competitive red ball cricket. It's been a bit of a break for, for most of us since the last test match um, against Sri Lanka at the SCG almost sort of five, six weeks ago now. So just to get back in the mode of, of batting for a long time and, and spending some time in the middle. And uh, is it funny having two Australian teams uh, in different places at the one time? Not something that happens uh, often, but probably just a byproduct of the modern modern schedule. Yeah, I think with with three formats of the game, it's going to happen uh, a little more. And the, the way the schedule is so packed over 12 months, I think it's a really smart move to get the, the red ball specialists over here as early as possible and, and let guys filter through it, you know, as required. So yeah, I think we'll see it more in in coming tours. That's for sure. And are you working on anything specific with your game here in India to suit the conditions here? Are you looking to change anything or just really hone in the, the skills and the, the technique that you have to suit these yeah, conditions? Yeah, sort I've of, sort of worked really hard the last five or six weeks just sort of tinkering with, with my play to, to spin on turning wickets. But at the same time, it's also about sticking to your strengths, knowing why you've been successful in the past. There's no point trying to reinvent the wheel too much. But at the same time, understand that there are always areas that you can improve. Uh, finding new ways to, to do that and then practice it accordingly so you can so you can pull it out under pressure in the middle. And just finally, uh, we've seen Shane Watson is going to captain Australia in this final ODI um, back home. He's been opening in the one day series and batting reasonably well. Where do you see him fitting into the batting order when he comes back in for this series against India? Oh, I think you know, that's the selector's job, Seno, as to, to where he bats, but he, he's uh, you know certainly in Australia's best six batsmen. He, he's, Showing that he can bat anywhere in the middle order. I'm, I'm quite comfortable with, with myself and Davey opening the batting. I think we've been the most successful opening partnership over the last 14 months, both uh, in terms of volume of runs and an average per inning. So I, I, I can't see why anyone would suggest that they'd, they'd want to break that partnership up. Uh, but it'll, it'll be great to have Shane in good form, you know, batting somewhere in the top six.